I'm going to show you how to build an AI voice agent demo in just five minutes using one simple Gemini 3 Pro hack. So if you want to make passive income, gently tap the like and subscribe buttons and keep watching until the end. Because I promise that this video will contain valuable information you won't find anywhere else. So the first use case is going to build building a really nice demo really quickly for one of our new clients. So let's use Planet 13 as an example. One of my students actually created the AI voice agent for this. So I'm sure he'll be happy that I create the tutorial on this company. But basically, the way that we're going to do this is typically we would have to basically set everything up in Bappy and NADN, which usually takes about 20 minutes. But doing this way, it's a lot easier and it takes probably around five minutes to do. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So basically, the way that we do this is we're going to need to get some information and then pass it into Gemini over here so that you can basically go ahead and vibe code. Basically means it's going to do all the coding for you to create a website that you can then send over to a client. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to need to write a prompt, say, okay, we'll describe your idea, you know, build me a demo, blah, 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 right? And also um, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it, which is basically by using, adding some files so that your, um, the Gemini actually knows exactly, you know, how to do it, to do it the best way possible, right? So first what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and then we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot so that we're going to have this to be able to pass in. And then we're also going to take a screenshot of Gemini over here because we're actually just going to use Gemini itself to write the prompt to Gemini. Like how crazy is that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab. And as you can see, this is actually my homepage now, which is, which is pretty cool. But basically, uh, you go ahead and change the temperature to 0 0.4. Um, temperature just means how crazy the results are going to be. I found that 0 0.4 works the best. So that's what I'm going to use. And here, what he's going to do is we need to write like a, like a pretty basic prompt just to tell it what we're trying to do. Um, and then, you know, it's going to do it for us. So um, I'm just going to paste it right here. It's going to say, the goal is for you to write me an optimal prompt creating a demo for Planet 13 that I would use to create a nice landing page demo for an AI voice agent for Planet 13, blah, 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 right? Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Just, uh, just you know, use, write some English to talk to it. And then after that, I'm going to go over to my, uh, my uh, desktop and I'm actually going to drop in the two screenshots that I just took over here so that Google AI is going to basically read these files and it's going to know how to write that prompt, right? So once I basically dropped all that in, I'm going to go ahead and run and it's basically going to read all the information and then write me the, basically what I, what I told it to do, which is write me an optimal prompt, creating that demo, right? So it's just going to take a couple seconds to think. A few moments later. All right, so here it goes. It's saying that here is your optimal prompt to paste into the describe your idea, right? So as you can see, it literally washed exactly what I need to do. And it's going to give me exactly what I need. So the prompt to copy and paste, I'm not even going to read it because I know it's perfect. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit copy to clipboard. And now I'm going to go back over to here, Google AI Studio. And I'm going to hit control V to paste it in. And I'm also going to go over to the add files button here. Um, and basically drop it in, right? So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go back over to here and I'm going to drop in the screenshot of Planet 13 so that again here, it's basically going to visit that website and it's going to read it. So it's going to know exactly how to do it and create a website that's pretty similar um, so that when I send it to my client, then that they'll, they'll recognize it immediately. They'll be like, wow, you literally rebuilt my website and you literally created a new AI message for me. This is absolutely amazing. And I want to work with you, right? That's the kind of reaction that we want. So once you've done that, all you need to do next is hit build and it's basically going to take all the information and it's going to work and it's going to it's just it's going to create it right so this usually takes about three to ten minutes so what i usually do is just you know uh, whenever i don't have anything going on just let it run and maybe like go take a shower or do a workout or something like that by the time you come back be all good to go so let's just go ahead and wait for it to finish Alrighty, so after just 99 seconds, it was able to create this beautiful demo. Now, as you can see, it's not the exact same as this, which is absolutely fine because this is obviously proprietary information. The goal here is remember, we're creating a demo and the point of the demo is to convert a client so that the client works with us and not with our competitor. So as long as our website is better than our competitor's demo, then we're obviously going to get the job, obviously, right? And so as you can see, it provides a lot of context, which shows that we, you know, put a lot of effort, you know, theoretically into this website. You know, they don't know that we're doing this using vibe coding in two minutes, but that's, that it doesn't matter, right? The, what matters is that they're, they're going to hire us at the end of the day, right? So as you can see, we have a nice uh, microphone here, and I'm guessing it's basically like an FAQ specialist. You know, I'm guessing you would just answer some questions and I'll be able to uh, fetch all the information from the website in order to be like a, a AI concierge or like a customer service representative, right? So let's go ahead and test it out. 
says tap to initialize. Hey, uh, what's going on? How are you doing today? Welcome to Planet 13. How can I assist you with your cannabis journey? Wow, that, that voice sounds really nice, right? So, okay, so I just want to ask, what kind of business do you guys even do? Planet 13 is the world's largest cannabis dispensary, offering a wide selection of products. Sure, what do you guys sell? We offer a variety of options, including flour, edibles, and vapes. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. So as you can see, that was my first time testing that and that worked absolutely beautifully. Uh, so basically, you know, I'm guessing it gives information about delivery, whatever, right? You can ask it wherever you want and it just gets all the information from here. So there's no reason why, um, you know, this shouldn't be like a really, really good demo uh, for you to show like a client. Like I mean, just, 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 you know, if you're a business owner and if you were to see something like this created for your business, let me know what you think in the comments. Just, you know, would you be happy seeing a demo like this? And would you feel like you would need one of this to basically bring your company to the next level? And the cool, crazy thing about this is it's not expensive at all to build. If it creates a lot of ROI, in this case, it's just like an FAQ, which is, you know, not as valuable as something like a, a AI receptionist or like a, you know, outbound cold caller. But either way, right? The, the, the point is we're going to be using AI voice agents in every single way possible because it's just so easy to do right at this, at this moment in time. All right, so all that there's left to do is basically get this on a public URL so that we can send it to our client and that client can basically visit it and check out the demo for themselves, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, there's a really easy way to do it and it's much easier than doing something like trying to download it and like telling them to, you know, basically, you know, go to this website and then, you know, put the code into here. That's not going to work, right? Also, uh, if you do it, Using GitHub, you're going to need to create your, put it on your own backend and also move the API keys to the backend. It's a lot riskier. It's a lot more technically complicated. So I don't recommend that. I recommend using this. It's called Deploy App. It basically puts it onto a Google, onto the Google Cloud, which is managed by Google. So you don't have to do anything with your API key and it's free to do, right? We're not using anything crazy over here. It's, it's usually going to be included in the free tier. And even if somehow you go over that, it literally costs basically nothing. So there's no reason why you would not want to do it this way. So. Um, go ahead and select a cloud project. Uh, if you don't already have a project, you can just go ahead and click create project and you just name it whatever you want, like just name the project. But I'm going to use this one right here, my project. Okay. And then it's going to say, you must enable billing for this project to proceed. And we're just going to hit set up billing, right? So the thing about this is, again, like I was saying, there's no automatic charges. You will only start paying if you decide to activate a full pay as you go Google Cloud account. Okay. So this is basically just uh, they're, them trying to get you in the door, right? Once you start building on their platform, that basically means that, you know, you're probably going to continue building and that's how they basically get new clients, right? So, but but for what we're doing, it's not going to cost us anything. So just go ahead and fill this out and we're going to set it up. So uh, agree and continue. All right. So once you've done the setup, you're going to see something that looks like this. And also one thing that I didn't mention is that once you put in your information, it's going to say something like a $10 prepayment or something like that. Actually, if you don't want to pay that, you can just hit refresh and it's not going to charge you. But again, it's only a one, it's only a, like a $10 prepayment. And also, um, you know, so you can just use it for you know, however many years. But if once you're done with the project, you can, like, you can get it back by closing the account. So it's no problem at all. Okay. So um, once you basically pass that part, then you can go back over to Google AI Studio. Then we can go back over to the deploy app button. And then we're going to select our project one more time. This time, since we've added our billing information, we can go ahead and hit deploy and that's going to basically create for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it's going to build the project and it's going to give us a public URL. So let's go ahead and wait for that to finish. All right, so there you go. It says app successfully deployed to Google Cloud. That took about 60 seconds, which is usually about how long it takes, which is pretty much nothing. So that's absolutely amazing. As you can see, you can now view your AI, uh, your application UI and customize it at this URL. So we can basically go ahead and click on this and it's going to go ahead and pop up our website just like that, beautiful and ready to use. So that is number one, how to create a smooth, beautiful, amazing working demo for your client that will make you have a much higher chance of getting that client. Um, and also and it only takes about five minutes to do once you get the hang of it. So that's absolutely amazing. Now, if you need help with prompt engineering or AI voice stages, just go to my school community and create a post real quick right here. I'll make sure you get the help that you need.
Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to actually deploy the AI voice agent once you've landed the client. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using Gemini 3, just to do it in just five minutes, just simple as like I showed you in this video. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. All right, have a great one.